With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that forward bias characteristics of a PN junction diode is used in which of the following devices? Now there are several devices which has been given and we need to tell in which is the forward bias characteristics used. Now in the A option, what is given? It is given as to be voltage regulation. Now voltage regulation basically from the word itself, it is very clear that it would be required to maintain, maintain constant, constant output voltage, constant output voltage when input voltage would vary when input voltage or we can say that input power input voltage or input power varies now this voltage regulation uses zener diode okay it uses zener diode and zener diode is basically what it is based on it would be on the reverse bias so that means this is wrong it is not based on the uh, this voltage regulation is not based on forward bias but on the uh, reverse bias because it is employing a zener diode in the b part uh, oscillator. Now, oscillator is basically what? So, uh, if we uh, uh, for an amplifier, if for example, if we are having an amplifier, okay. Now, with an amplifier, if we are using some positive uh, plus some positive feedback, positive feedback, okay. If we are using, so it would become a essentially it would become a, a oscillator. Now, in the oscillator, we are using forward bias forward bias as well as reverse bias simultaneously we are using okay in half of the cycle we will be using forward bias and then we would be using reverse bias so basically it is involved by using both the biases forward as well as reverse so this cannot be the option now in the rectifier circuit in the c part rectifier circuit so we know the about the half wave and the full wave rectifier okay so uh, we would be having a half wave if we just draw so for example this is the input signal we just draw the input signal like this Okay. Now, if it is what a uh, this half wave rectifier, what will happen? And if it is a full wave rectifier, what will happen? So, for example, if we employ uh, uh, just uh, draw a half wave rectifier, so signal would be like this. This would be the output. This is the input part. Okay. Now, it would not conduct any current in the this uh, uh, this uh, in the negative cycle. Then we will be having current in the forward cycle. Then also or voltage in the forward part. Okay, like this. This is our half wave rectifier. Now, in the full wave rectifier. It will be like this so it would be con converting the negative cycle also to the positive cycle so it would be like this this we know this is how it would be the uh, this our uh, uh, full wave rectifier so in the full wave rectifier what will happen so in the in this cycle in this part of the cycle okay we are converted into the positive cycle so our uh, this uh, uh, device would be uh, something like that it would be implying the full amount of current or we can say that full current would be flowing okay so that means there is a current so we will be getting an, an output voltage but in the negative part it would be behaving as a reverse bias and reverse bias there would not be any current so it would be just a straight line now in the full wave rectifier what is happening in the full wave rectifier okay in one part of the cycle it is behaving as a forward bias and in another part also it is behaving as a forward bias if you just draw a representative figure let's say for the uh, this uh, uh, reverse bias condition for example this uh, sorry half wave rectifier this let's say is our pn uh, this junction diode and from this side we are just supplying the input okay so we are just drawing a representative figure okay and from here we are getting the output let's say here we are getting the output and here we are giving the input now in the initial part for example for the positive cycle so it would be behaving as a forward bias when but when the polarity would change in a half cycle it would be, be becoming a negative it would be positive so there it would be becoming a, a reverse bias and therefore therefore no current would be uh, flowing so it is based on the this uh, we can say that our rectifier circuit this is based on the forward bias principle okay because it would allow the current to flow only in the forward bias condition now in the solar cell so there is no uh, this biasing which is used in the solar cell why because we know that solar cell would be just converting the in the d part solar cell would be just converting the light rays we uh, uh, which are getting from the sunlight we can say that it is the light energy it would be converted into the electrical energy okay so there is no biasing which is required so we can say that d is not our option so the correct option is only c option hope you understood this solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today